Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can embed Bunny.net videos into your LearnDash courses. Now, if you've not heard of Bunny.net, it's kind of similar to YouTube and Vimeo in that it's designed for the delivery of video content and I believe other things as well. So, while it is entirely possible to upload vi videos into your WordPress platform via the media library, we definitely wouldn't recommend that because video files are huge and they come in all shapes and sizes and not everyone can view all different types. And what the likes of Bunny.net and Vimeo and YouTube do is compress the videos to make sure that they're a decent size for streaming and make them all in a, you know, a universal format that everyone can download. So firstly, head to Bunny.net and from here you can create a free trial account um, for 14 days just to test it out and that's really easy to do all you do is click on this put a new email address and um, you're pretty much good to go you you will receive a confirmation email that you have to click and once you have registered you'll end up on a page like this um, and while you're in your trial it'll show you how many days and um, gigabytes of video you have uh, to be able to use so it's quite an overwhelming first page, I would say. But what we're going to do is show you how to do that. It's, it's actually a lot simpler than this would have you believe. What you would do is head to stream. And what you need to do first is create a video library. So I'm just going to go here to add video library and just call this my learn dash courses. Yeah, so just <laughs> something for my platform here. And while you're on the trial, it will give you the access to choose where your videos are stored. So once you get past your 14 days trial, it, it will charge you for use of bunny.net, but um, it does seem like it would be cost effective in comparison to some of the other platforms. And what you can do is choose where you want your videos to be hosted. And by default, it will choose the US and uh, Singapore here. But you can select other ones of these um, if you want to. I'm just going to leave those as they are and then just click add video library and that'll run now. And this can take a while, so I might just pause the video potentially uh, while this creates. So that's created now and it probably took about a minute to do. So just bear in mind uh, while that's running, it will eventually get there. So what I've got here is a library called my learn dash courses and from within that we can see um, you know, how many videos we've got and how much storage and traffic we've used and it's the storage and traffic that will impact on any costs you know, any charges that you incur while using this service but you can see on the pricing it's you know relatively cheap for hosting video you know the, I think you're on a standard tier here and um, you, know, you can you can switch these if you want to. So what I'm first going to do is create a collection here within the library by clicking this button. And I'll call this something like my first course. So what you might want to do is create a different collection for each of your Learn Dash courses perhaps. And now we're ready to start uploading our video. So I'm just going to go to upload videos here. And then I'm just going to browse my computer here and just going to find a video here and upload it. This is a very short video, so this will be quick to upload, but obviously depending on the size of your video, this may, t may take longer. I'm just uploading maybe a 20 second video here. So that is uploaded, and we can see that it's processing here, so once it's uploaded, it will be encoding that video and compressing it and doing all sorts of its own magic to be able to get that to display on your courses. Once that's done, you'll see the bar appear across here and you'll be able to click into that and open it up and preview your video here. So it's just a simple video there. It gives you a few bits that you can add here like direct play URLs that you could share with people or thumbnail URLs. But what you probably want to use for your Learn Dash courses is this bit here at the bottom under embed. And what we want to do is click copy to clipboard and that will copy this code, which is what you want to use on your site to embed it. 
while we're in here, I'll just point out that you can add things like captions, chapters, and things like that, and see statistics for how many times it's been viewed as well, which is a useful feature. So I've copied that, and what I'm going to do is head back to my LearnDash platform and go to my course where I'm going to add this um, video. So I'm just going to go to a, a LearnDash lesson here, and what I want to do is add that video at the top of this lesson. So I'm going to go to Edit Lesson. If you're using Gutenberg, it looks something like this, but I'm going to drop down and then I'm going to choose a block. And the type of block I'm going to choose is called HTML because what we're doing is pasting in some HTML code there. And I'm just going to paste that in. And you can see, you know, we, we don't see a video there, but what we're doing is in pasting in an embed code for that video. And what will happen once we update the page and view it is that we'll see our video there being played. So we have our video from bunny.net showing on our LearnDash course. Just quickly, I'm going to show you a couple of the other features we have here in bunny.net. So if I just click save and close that video here, on the, once we're in the library here, we can customize the appearance of the player. So we've got the player's primary color there, which is this sort of pinky color. But if I was to change that to something else, um, let's see if I, that updates. I've just changed that to a green. So let's see what change that has on the, the player. Uh, yeah, things have changed to this green color instead here, look. So we've got some customizations that we can make on the player, things like fonts, custom HTML, uh, user interface, uh, um, language, and, and a few other bits. So you can enable and disable player controls and things like that. There's things like advertising and encoding and pricing and things like that. But one thing that's really useful for LearnDash courses is the ability to restrict where this video can be embedded. So what you probably don't want is someone taking your videos and embedding them on their own course. So what you can do is add these allowed domains where you would enter your site's domain here, uh, so sandbox.trainingspark.com, and that would mean that this video can only be embedded within that your own site and not anywhere else. So just to demonstrate this, I'll put something like star.google.com and add that. And if I was to refresh this now, it would come up with an error because my domain isn't in that allowed list. So this is what anyone else would see if they tried to embed your video. So I'm going to add a new one here, which is, um, oops, um, trainingspark.com, spell it right. So that would be anything.trainingspark.com, whether it's www. or not, or something, your subdomain. And I'm just going to click add. And we can see that that's added now. So if I was to refresh that again, the video shows again, and what this means is that this, my videos within this library can only be embedded on google.com or trainingspark.com and not anywhere else. On the flip side, if you didn't want these allowed domains and you wanted to actually block domains, then you can use this option as well. So we hope you find that useful. Uh, we think it's a really useful tool at bunny.net and uh, we'll be looking at this as potentially a, a way to host our videos because it's, it's very cost effective and um, if you did like this video please give it a like and if you'd like to see more like this please subscribe to the train spark youtube channel